Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you came to our YouTube channel for first time, please make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit bell icon. And if you like our efforts, please share these videos to your SAP circle as sharing is a caring. So in today's session, we will discuss automatic PO. So that comes under special procurement process, auto PO. So how like what's the business requirement for auto PO and what's the configuration steps for that auto PO? We are going to discuss that on both ECC and S4 HANA. Meanwhile, it's same exactly same on both ECC and S4 HANA. But I will show how we are going to configure that in both screen, right? So auto PO by goods received. So what's the business requirement? So sometimes what happen companies need material urgently so uh, sometimes companies needs material or services urgently so they don't have a time like uh, to create PO first then send that to a vendor then a vendor will share the acknowledgement then vendor will come with the goods it's a time consuming process but sometimes if uh, like uh, companies required a material on urgent basis they just use this concept auto PO so in that case, they don't create any PO. They just create a GR. They just say to their vendor or supplier, just, just please come with the goods. And once the goods just came to their company's premises, they just do unloading and they do directly. They do just GR goods received using T code MIGO. And in the back end, automatically PO is generated because PO is mandatory because uh, it's a legal uh, document PO is a legal external document so it's mandatory so what happened the system will create that PO automatically in the back end so that's the concept automatic PO right so business requirement is sometimes the company may require material immediately and they may not have that much time to create PO and send it to vendor the company will inform to the deliver the goods as soon as possible without sending PO. The vendor will come to company with the goods to deliver and GR will be done by company. After GR goods received is done by company, the SAP system will generate PO automatically and all normal updations will happen like whatever updations happen after doing GR posting, it's happened that normal all updations used to happen because in back end system will automatically create PO. So I just uh, like compile that in five step procedure. So algorithm for that first step is just I need to assign standard purchase work to plant. Why I need to assign? Because like uh, in PO while we are going to create a PO, let me show you an SAP screen what I'm saying whenever we just create a PO in org data tab that's a mandatory data like purchase organization right so uh, like when we just create a PO using T code ME21N here you can see in header in status tab you can see uh, in org data tab you can see purchase org is a mandatory uh, mandatory field that we need to provide while creating purchase order so that's the reason like we are not going to create any PO we are going to do directly goods received so in that case we have to make a standard purchase organization so how we are going to make that so we are going to use SPRO in SPRO go to IMG just select enterprise structure node and here you can see assignment node and here material management and here you can see assign standard purchase org to uh, plant. So we have to assign a standard purchase org like it will be considered as a purchase org. Just see I am facing this issue. So how to resolve this issue? So just copy this user. Uh, what, what's happening now? right now whatever uh, like uh, configuration i just want to do the same configuration rauf user is doing 
so what i have to do i have to unlock that entry otherwise i will only be on a display mode so sometimes student used to get that error and they used to think like uh, who have logged my data so they used to think like from uh, servers and it's it's done no it's happen even in the real time so how to resolve this type of issue right now you can see i am only on a display mode i can't change any entry so how to do that how to resolve that so just copy this user and just open from here a new tab create session and just use t code sm12 here and paste username here select list just select this user and delete this entry yes now if i will try to change i will able to do that let me try in spro so just yes come out again and come right so now i can change entries right so plant that's my plant you just need to give your plant and here you need to give your purchase organization so you can give any of your purchase organization as a standard purchase organization as have i have already done that so that's the way you can do right so just give your purchase org here hit enter and save so it's done right so that's the first step next step is we are going to create metal master record and in material master record we are going to select auto po checkbox so auto po checkbox we are going to select so if you are going to create a fresh material um, fresh metal master record so you can use t code mm01 but if you have already created a material and you just want to purchase that uh, with the help of auto po concept then you can go in mm02 t code and you can change uh, that in purchasing view you just need to select auto po checkbox so let me show in purchasing view auto po checkbox must be selected right so let me do one thing let me create a fresh material so using t code mm01 and i will just take auto po7 let me take industry sector let me take mechanical material type i will take raw material so that's NOH otherwise it's a ROH but some student just change that so I will just again change this right so it must be ROH raw material select view so let me take basic data one purchasing so these views i'm selecting these four views and accounting one here just give your plant storage location enter purchasing group hit enter enter so valuation class let me give this one price control i will take v as a moving average price hit enter yes but first one mistake i just did so what what's that mistake in purchasing view i didn't selected that auto po checkbox so how i am going to do that using t code mm02 right select view i will just select purchasing view only hit enter plant kl01 you just need to give your plant and here you can see auto po checkbox so you can see automatic po so that must be check marked hit enter and save it's done i just created this material right so let me save that on notepad
I just created this now next step third step is to create vendor master record and that same checkbox must be selected so I have mentioned that in notes also so next step is uh, in vendor master record we in purchasing data we will select auto PO checkbox so if you have uh, if you have already created then you can change using t code xk02 but if you haven't created vendor master record you can create using t code xk01 so i have mentioned if you haven't created use t code xk01 and if want to change if you want to make changes in existing supplier then use t code xk02 right so I will use T code XK01 because I'm going to create a material here. So vendor, let me take, let me take auto PO when 07. Auto PO when 7, right? Company code, let me take and purchasing org accounting group hit enter recon account cash management group hit enter payment terms enter enter so here is a purchasing data here we need to give automatic po checkbox must be selected so here you can see automatic purchase order so just select this hit enter enter and save so it's created right so it's created now next step is i will create purchase info record and it's mandatory here why it's mandatory create purchase info record using t code me11 and it's mandatory why it's mandatory because we need to maintain the price here and if we just want to maintain tax also we are going to maintain that here because while creating a po we used to give all these details and these are mandatory data mandatory fields like we have to give a price we have to give tax here there if we just want to maintain tax so that's a mandatory data so as we are going to create a gr goods received directly so we have to maintain all this data in purchasing info record and that that's the reason purchase info record is mandatory right so we will use t code me11 hit enter so the combination of this material and vendor plant and standard hit enter enter delivery date let me take 5 quantity let me take 100 net price 10 right and if we just want to maintain tax code we can maintain here now but now we are not maintaining so hit enter 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 and yes so it's created purchase info record is also created now what i will do i will do goods received this is the last step goods receipt I will do and how I'm going to do using T code MIGO same movement type 101 I'm going to use and I will give these details manually material quantity plant storage location vendor all these quantity all these fields we are going to uh, maintain manually like that right so let me take movement type 101 here i will just give material so material is this one auto po 7 so let me copy and just paste here hit enter quantity i will just give manually like 100 quantity i'm going to receive where like a plant storage location right check enter vendor so here in partner we need to give our vendor so that's our vendor hit enter 
check now it's fine document is okay and post now it's posted right so material document is posted now just see once i will just go to display you can see the system have created po automatically in the back end let me show you so in display if you just go to where tab you can see in stock overview you can see 100 stock just came to unrestricted use directly right and if you just see here in purchase order data just see the system have created in the back end automatically po i didn't created any po system have created purchase order number purchase order in back end all updations like normally used to happen after we just do goods received all updations are normal like that right so let me show you purchase order you just see this is a purchase order material text everything delivery date net price everything is just there as we used to create manually a purchase order same like that order delivered all updated org data you can see this is org data that's a standard purchase org that we have assigned purchase group everything just came right material group plant everything just came right so in item detail also you can see purchase order history is maintained purchase order history uh, tab is maintained so all no normal updations are there if you just want to see if you want to see financial account financial documents you can see like debit and credit same like that right so all normal updations are like that right so that's the concept of automatic po and these are the configuration steps let me show you that same in s4 hana s4 hana 2023 you can see that same that's a s4 hana 2023 here user id let me give and first step is the that uh, in spro we used to assign a standard purchase or to our plant so just see the same steps are there go to enterprise structure assignment go to material management here you can see assign standard purchase org to plant so that's the first step that's same second step in metal master record we used to create in mm01 we are going to create a material and in purchasing view we are going to select that auto po there we used to create a vendor na in s4 hana we just used to create a bp right so in bp in purchasing view we are going to select that auto po check box that's it otherwise steps are same right all steps are same so this is auto po concept right so after posting when you display material document you will see the po is created automatically and all normal updations will happen right so that's the concept of auto po in ecc screen and s4 hana screen right if you have any question or any doubt you can uh, let me know in comment section so uh thank you for staying up to last if you like my efforts please like this video and share in your sap circle thank you and if you just want to enroll in complete course you can contact us uh, to srizan institute you can contact us a number mentioned in description box so thank you thanks a lot may god bless you all